Hi, welcome to my channel, Boston and the Burbs. My name is Karen O'Brien. I am a Berkshire Hathaway Home Services real estate broker, and my channel is all about Boston, the neighborhoods, the towns surrounding Boston, and what you can expect from each of these little suburban spots. So, we're going to talk about Chestnut Hill. Stay right with me. Chestnut Hill. Now, Chestnut Hill is one of 13 villages of Newton, but it's a very unique place. So Chestnut Hill belongs to part of Brookline, part of Newton, and part of Boston. It kind of sits right there in the middle. It actually overlaps with Suffolk County, Norfolk County, Middlesex County. It's a very unique little spot. And I, from what I understand, you can go to Brookline schools or Newton schools, which is pretty cool. But it is. So I'll tell you about the outdoor space. Um, there is a beautiful reservoir, the Chestnut Hill Reservoir, that a lot of people walk around for an evening stroll. It's like walking around a big pond, and it's kind of right there in the middle of the city. So that's a great little feature. And Hammond Pond Park, Hammond Pond Reservation, which is a woodland park, and there's actually some hiking, good place to walk your dog, but there's actually some rock climbing areas there and I guess there's a generous amount of something called pudding stone which rock climbers like to climb on. So that's at Hammond. Um, Boston College is also located in Chestnut Hill and um, there's great shopping in Chestnut Hill. So from Boston Route 9 goes straight west. It actually goes all the way out to Worcester. But say Route 9, if you're in the medical area of Brigham and Women's, Dana-Farber, um, Mass College of Art, it's a straight shot. You drive west, you go through Brookline, and then you're in Chestnut Hill. There's great medical areas. Brigham and Women's has uh, a big medical center there where you can see physicians, have labs done, that kind of thing. Then there is a wonderful big grocery store, store market. There's a place called Main Streets with tons of shopping, little ex exclusive uh, boutiques and high-end places. And then next on your right-hand side is the Chestnut Hill Mall. Mostly high-end, it's changed over the years, but there's always been a Bloomingdale's. And I worked there my first, many moons ago, my first year out of college for a year, and I swear I spent 100% of my salary on clothes. Um, it was a great place to work, but that was a long time ago. So there are, across the street, newly developed, is another shopping area from Chestnut Hill Mall with restaurants and a Wegmans. So we're talking that whole center area there, great shopping. You keep going west, and you're going to hit... Route 128, 95 North and South, um, lots of companies, so if you're a commuter, it's no big deal. It's pretty quick. Um, cool. But it is a moneyed community. It's beautiful. It's fun. Um, I go up a couple of towns over, and my mom and I would spend Saturdays going shopping and having lunch in Chestnut Hill. It was wonderful. So I'm going to tell you a little bit about what to expect for home prices and neighborhoods. Let's see, the median price of a home is 1.19 million. Median price of a condominium is about 900,000. So it's a very exclusive pricey place to live, but if that's what you're looking for, it's an awesome place to live. Now, there are homes there that, like I said, in the 700s and little neighborhoods, but there's also mansions like mega mansions, a lot of historic homes, things built in the early 1900s with stone walls and woods. Um, it's a beautiful place to drive around. Um, who lived there? Um, Tom Brady, but he's no longer with the Patriots. But he bought a 40, or built a $40 million dollar mansion because he put it on the market for that but um, I believe it's a lot less now and I still don't think it's sold but that's beside the point. So there are some beautiful beautiful and very private areas in Chestnut Hill. It's a very exclusive nice community. During the day you'll see moms in big SUVs going to the health club, getting their coffee, going shopping. 
Um, it's that kind of community. So if you like that and you have a question, send me a little question or comment. You want to know more, you can reach me here. And I thank you so much. I hope you subscribe to my channel. I talk about all the areas and Brookline will be soon. It's a very um, cool, diverse place. It's almost like being in Europe. So thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.